Hi everyone, it's Kieran here and in this video I'm going to tell you all about my battle with the kickflip. I've been practicing this trick for ages and even the early sort of concept videos I did to see how the channel would look were my attempts at kickflips and I've been getting closer and closer and I felt like recently that they were I was just there and it was going to happen at any moment. So this Friday I went out with the intention of getting one down and after about 20 or so attempts this happened. So I finally got one. Not the cleanest and prettiest one in the world, but after I got that one, I kept going and a couple more happened. Again, not the cleanest, nicest kick clips you're ever going to see, but when you're learning a trick, you take the ones that you're given. And I was so pleased, it felt like a huge weight off my shoulder to finally get that trick down. So I kind of made it my thing to, over the next couple of days, just to keep going out, keep going out and really unlock the full secret so that I felt like I could do that trick at least semi-consistently. Semi on Saturday evening, I went out again and we got a few more. Again, there's a mixed bag of some good looking ones and some not so good looking ones but at this point really I'm just happy to be landing them um, I also felt like I kind of worked out a little bit more about them on Saturday I've worked out a way just to get that get my feet back down on them consistently which is what I was having trouble with so I came back I looked at the footage on Saturday evening I worked it through in my head I went back out Sunday evening and got some more This time they were happening a lot more frequently. I was there was less attempts between makes, which was really good, and I felt like I had a lot more control over them. And it was not, it was more likely going to happen. There was also some cleaner, nicer ones, which I was pleased with. So yeah, all in all, a really positive weekend of skateboarding, and a part to end to a positive week. I managed to get the frontside shove it earlier in the week, and then to get the the kickflips at the weekend was just a real added bonus that's given me a really positive mindset going forward for learning and landing more tricks. And it just goes to show that some tricks take time. And some tricks are gonna you're gonna get very quickly, you may get in an evening like that front side shove and other ones like the kick flips. I mean I must be getting onto a thousand attempts before I before I finally put one down. But yeah it was a good feeling. Um, and like I said, it definitely puts me in a good frame of mind for doing the next steps. So, Because I've been practicing and playing around with this trick literally for eight months, I didn't want to do one of my learning how-to videos. I really want to keep those videos to be as genuine as possible in terms of from my very early attempts. That way, as you watch me learn them, you're seeing me make the adjustments as I work out what's going on. Whereas with the kickflip, by the time around, I've got to start started to film for the channel it already worked a lot of that out it was just down to some very minute little details to get that right as always thank you very much for watching um, i'll leave a link down below to martin's channel kickflip at 30 if you want to go back and see some of my early kickflip attempts they're pretty bad they're kind of amusing um, yeah please subscribe hit the like button leave us a comment particularly if you're a skateboarder or you're learning to skateboard and you've got one of these tricks that you're really battling with. I'd love to know what it is and how you're getting on with it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.